How do steroid hormones, like the estrogen I'll discuss in this video, how do they affect cells? Well, there's a simple version of the story. Unlike most hormones, which bind to a receptor on the cell membrane and activate second messengers, these steroid hormones, because steroids like estrogen are nonpolar, can pass through the cell membrane where they bind to receptors inside the cell. The receptors and the hormones bound to them then go to the nucleus where they bind to DNA and then change which genes are turned on or off. The situation is a bit more complicated. There are two estrogen receptors, one encoded by chromosome 6, making a protein of 595 amino acids, and one encoded by chromosome 14, um, which can encode proteins which can vary in size, 530 amino acids, 495, or 513, depending on how it's spliced. Estrogen receptor alpha and beta are similar. The portions which bind DNA to turn on genes are extremely similar, maybe 95% identical or more, whereas those which are binding the ligand, like the estrogen, are only about 55% identical. So they form dimers and they can form homodimers where two estrogen receptor alphas bind together or a homodimer where two estrogen receptor beta binds together or they can form a heterodimer where it's one of each. Typically these two receptors have comparable effects when estrogen binds them but there are examples known where estrogen binding to the beta receptor has an opposite reaction as it's binding to an alpha receptor. Here you can see cells of the ovary involved in reproductive function. These cells have estrogen receptors, but which estrogen receptors they express can vary. The fecal cells can express the estrogen receptor alpha and the granulosa cells can express the estrogen receptor beta. So even though they're responding to estrogen with estrogen receptors, they can vary in which uh, they express. In the prostate gland depicted here, the epithelium is expressing the estrogen receptor beta, but the deeper stroma is expressing the estrogen receptor alpha. There are other examples of this so that the breast tissue, the uterus, uh, and the liver would mainly express the alpha receptor, while the lung, colon, and immune system would uh, primarily express the beta receptor. Both of these receptors are typically expressed to comparable levels in the cardiovascular system, the nervous system, including parts of the brain, and adipose.